you watched my last video, this video might seem like a bit of an odd choice to move forward with. A lot of my thoughts on products and consumption habits and things like that are changing. I did purchase the things I'm going to show you today kind of over the last like month or two. These things have come into my life. Um, there are several PR things that I'll show because I think that they're pertinent, but let me just like explain as I go and show products. Very ill-prepared. Everything is gathered here in not a very organized way. The first thing I picked up were two red flower products because literally probably like 15 people through email, Instagram, video comments, probably more than 15, probably like 20 people let me know about the guilt offer. I think the initial guilt offer was you spend $50 and you get a $100 credit to Red Flower. And then the thing that finally tipped me over to just go ahead and do it was someone had a $15 off code from that. So it ended up being $35 for $100 worth of Red Flower products, which I subsequently went on to buy. I got another of the Arctic Berry Cloud Milk Creams. I really like this product. That's why I decided to go ahead and take advantage of the offer because I knew I was gonna buy this product anyway and it's like $55, so I figured it was worth it. So now I have a backup of this. I'm currently going through one in my bathroom. I could have just gotten two of these with the $100 credit, but then I had always been wanting to get a full size of the Bioactive Berry White Peat Exfoliant. I had tried a sample of this when I had first learned about the Arctic Berry Cloud Milk Cream, and I thought it was really nice. Um, it's an exfoliant that I think is best used on the skin when it's dry before you get in the shower. Um, but I remember it being very gentle, but also very, very effective. So I'm excited. I'm currently using the Ginger Grass Red Flower Scrub in the shower, and I'm quite enjoying it. But I have like some, some follow-up thoughts on the guilt offer. So kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I felt peer pressured into it. It wasn't really that. It was just that like, it was a really good example of being bombarded with a marketing effort. And I ended up spending money that, I mean, I would have repurchased the Arctic Berry Cloud Milk Cream at some point. I probably would have gotten it for 15% off in the Beauty Hero shop. What ended up happening is, so I spent $35, right? And then to get these two products, they were more than $100. This, I think, was six, I don't, I, I'm blanking on the prices and I don't have the receipt, but I think I paid like $12 additional, or maybe even more, $12 or $15 additional on top of the $35 that I already spent. So that's $50 that I wasn't planning on spending right then. I, I don't know how to like, I'm being really bad at articulating what I mean, but basically I don't like shopping during promo sales generally, unless it's like the Sephora 20% off or, the, or a beauty habit 20% off, that's a little bit different because I can plan for those and stuff. But when these kind of special one-off things crop up like on Gil, I just, it's part of the noise that I was referencing in my last video. And I think it's all designed to just make you spend money that you probably weren't going to anyway. Even though it is a good deal, I don't know, I'm not really making sense and I need to move on. So I picked up this face oil trial kit from Uma. I did their Dare to Bear campaign as a blogger and every blogger that participated in that got a $75 credit to the store. So just letting you in on what goes on in the blogger world and incentives, you know, which is nice, right? Because I made a video about it, it took a lot of time, I did Instagram posts, blah, blah, blah. So I got a $75 credit, this is $70. So I picked it up from the website directly and it has little mini oils of the Absolute Anti-Aging, Ultimate Brightening, Total Rejuvenation, Beauty Boosting, and Deeply Clarifying. I have really been wanting to try the Deeply Clarifying. It's supposed to be really a good face oil. Actually, just last night, I tried the Total Rejuvenation because it was the one that I've always really liked of theirs. And I don't know it didn't feel the way I remember it and I don't know if it's because it's been so long since I've tried this and I've tried so many other things or like it's just not exactly how I remember it 
so I don't I don't know quite what to make of that um, I'll report back because I'll be trying the rest of these in my skincare routine and I really am intending to do an updated skincare routine video because it has been changing a lot yes this was detox market because I ended up returning two items from the last order I had shown in a Mercedes shops the Ritual Dufy Fortune Teller Lipstick, pretty color but terrible formula, and the petal because I was so disappointed in how different the formula was from how warmly <laughs> I felt about that beloved product. I just feel like the formulation has changed. So I returned it. Little did I know, I thought I was gonna get my money back. They only do store credit. I'll probably be less likely to order from them now because of that, but I am happy to report that the two things I picked up with my store credit, I am very happy with, thank God. This is the Tammy Fender Awakening Eye Gel with Elderflower and Green Myrtle. I have been in need of a new morning eye cream. Well, really like eye cream in general. I could do like a whole eye cream video because I'm very, very particular about them. I don't especially like eye serum formulas that are oily or like a straight oil. So for example, I just finished trying the Uma eye oil and I just, I didn't really like it. I don't really care for the Lil Fox eye oil. Oculus in the rollerball I did like. I am really liking the Kahina Prickly Pear oil as an under eye treatment. but. I'm always looking for something in the morning that feels moisturizing but not too heavy and kind of deep puffing, cooling, all of those sort of added little perks we want to get from an eye specific product. I'm so pleased with this. It's really like a beautiful consistency. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, I'll show you. That's the consistency. It's moisturizing, <clears throat> cooling. It has a really light, fresh, natural scent. I think the ingredients are extremely high quality and I find it to be a really nice morning eye products. This will definitely be in March favorites. So I've been super happy testing that. It was like a love at first use. The first time I used it, I was like, oh yes. And I was debating between this or Audacity does an eye product I was thinking about, or I was going to return to the Pi Echium, Echium and Argan eye cream, which I used many years ago. And I think it's like a nice uh, eye product at a pretty reasonable price. It's not nearly as expensive as the higher end eye creams like this one. I think this is like 80 or $90. I decided to pick up a Rare Elements Pure Shampoo which I've tried, but it's been a number of years. I had tried foil packet samples of Rare Elements shampoo and conditioner and like the pre-shampoo treatment and they have like, it's called like the Marula cocktail or something, but years ago. And I remembered really liking them. And I go through shampoo so much faster than conditioner because I double cleanse my hair. Yeah, so that's why I just went for the shampoo and I really like it. I have like a holy grail hair care routine that has just been making me really happy with my hair. So I used this this morning to wash my hair as a first cleanse, second cleanse, inner sense, pure harmony, not the new inner sense formulation from Beauty Heroes, but the pure harmony formulation for fine to normal hair. I did a tiny bit of conditioning through the ends with Evolve H and then um, for styling, I did like a dime sized amount of the Reverie hair milk to blow dry. And then before I heat styled, I took two drops of Stark Tendril through the ends and I just have been like really happy with my hair and that is saying a lot for me if you've been watching me for a while because you know how fraught my relationship with my hair is but this is definitely a splurge but it's beautiful it feels like you're going to like an expensive like Beverly Hills spa organic spa or something to have your hair washed it's really gorgeous do I think you need to spend this kind of money on a shampoo no I just had credit to use and I you know I'm not sure I would have purchased it otherwise unless I had the money to spend but I have to say I've been very happy with both of these purchases and it's been taking a lot to like impress me with products lately so I'm really happy with those. And then they tend to throw in these little Audacity boosters. And I actually haven't tried this particular one. This is the Black Cumin, oh man, I have never seen that word before in my life. Cash Put Serum Concentrate. 
I guess it's for pimples. This is probably gonna go in my like giveaway bag. But that's what it. Do you guys want to see something? <laughs> this is not the point of this video at all. But I have two big bags full of products. These are part of like a clear out that I've done, like things that are old or I'm not using, or kind of like my to give away pile. And then. Oh, this is like similar, I guess. Or maybe those are disappointing products. Yeah, I think that's what those are. And then these are more like to give away products for like friends or I don't know. Should I? Do you guys want to see a video <laughs> once in these? It's just oh my god. I've been going through a big overhaul, as you can tell. Okay, that was it for Detox Market. Then I, on a whim, I don't know why I did this. I think I was like not feeling well and needed some retail therapy. I did a Pettivore order. I don't, I didn't really need either one of these things, but they're two home products, I guess. It's a Little Barn Apothecary Candle and the Captain Blankenship Smokeless Smudge Spray. So first of all, this is like one of the sexiest candles I've ever seen. Um, oh, I think I was feeling annoyed at how much I didn't like PF Candle Co. anymore and I wanted like a new beautiful candle. So they do three different scents of the Little Barn Apothecary candles. They didn't, they, I don't know if they still do the other ones that were in not a black jar, but this is the Jasmine and Olibanum, and it's so gorgeous. It's, it's a totally a Jasmine, light Jasmine floral. I haven't burned it yet, but I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful, piece. They're soy candles scented with essential oils and have a pretty long burn time. I've heard good things about them and they also do a like a rosemary and lemon and maybe an amber and something. I'm forgetting but I would depending on how this goes I would like to try the other ones. And then the Captain Blankenship Smokeless Smudge Spray I've been curious about for a while. It tends to be out of stock a lot where it's carried. I very much enjoy this. It's a cross between Palo Santo and citrus, kind of like there's a freshness to it. The ingredients are water, sugarcane, alcohol, I guess is a preserving agent, glycerin, grapefruit essential oil, so that's this the citrus that I smell, wild orange, white sage essential oil, Palo Santo essential oil, but they're all certified organic wild harvested. I gotta tell you, I'm really enjoying this. I think it works really nicely as a quick at home energy uh, refresh. I think it's also a really nice kind of aura spritz at the end of the day. If you're someone that feels that you accumulate energies when you're out during the day, this is really nice. And I think it's also really nice for people that live in apartment buildings and are worried about setting off smoke alarms when you burn sage or Palo Santo. Um, and also it can be kind of time consuming to do a full home smudge with sage or palo santo so i just think this is nice sort of home energy maintenance upkeep it's quite potent like i had sprayed it around my home and went out later that day and a friend could smell it on me i mean in a good way um i really like the way palo santo smells just a beautiful she kippy smell so recommend 10 out of 10 recommend then uh one other thing that I purchased was the, well, it wasn't really like an intentional purchase. It was the March, I guess, Art of Organics box. I had purchased the February one and I had just forgotten, honestly, to cancel my subscription. So there was $40 I wish that I hadn't spent, but what are you gonna do? So this month, I thought the branding was kind of cute, like these watermelons. So. It's featuring the brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, Oily, oh, Oli, Oil, <laughs> I sound like a freak, I don't know. I did like a little bit of um, like a basic research, I gotta say I'm not that impressed with this box. It's a facial milk cleanser, it also came with a pre-cleansing facial serum. And then also a little foil packet sample of a hair serum. So the main reason I wasn't really that into this is because it has like lemon essential oil in them, which is just one that I'm kind of like, I don't love the idea of using lemon essential oil on my face. I don't know why it could, lemon could be in some of those Uma formulations actually. 
But then this also said it has mineral sea salt in it, and that just sounds really quite abrasive. And okay, I'm gonna show you this. I haven't used this at all, and the top is all crusty, like the product has leaked. So that's honestly, like, frankly, kind of annoying. I heard from a friend of mine that got this. Do you hear that too? It sounds like maybe the dispensing mechanism is off. I might email them. I don't know, now I kind of want to like see if I can return this box or like it's defective or something. A friend of mine uh, used this and said it burned her skin. Not really a good sign. <laughs> smells like um, pasta. It smells like a pasta dish. I So I haven't reached for it or even tried it. That's saying a lot because I, I don't know. I just, I don't like the idea of a face cleanser with salt in it and lemon essential oil just sounds like it's gonna be way too abrasive and exfoliating. I will try this, The it's just I think like a cleansing oil, but again, it has pineapple enzymes. A lot of my cleansers already have exfoliating agents in them, so I'm just, I don't know, I would like an oil cleanser with like no essential oils and no exfoliating agents in it. I think the watermelon seed oil sounds nice, but lemon essential oil, pineapple enzyme, sea salt, these are just not ingredients that I'm very interested in, I gotta be honest. two very beautiful generous PR things come in that I thought I would show you because maybe you'll be interested so the first and the main reason I wanted to show this is because it's a brand I don't know if you guys know about but it, I have an interesting connection to it so it's called Silk Therapeutics they are local to Boston the, the packaging of this box was really lovely Let's see if I can get in there and show you and they sent me their Eye Revive Brightening and Firming, which looks like this. I have tried this. This is the only thing that I've tried. The C Advanced Anti-Aging Intensive Serum, water, vitamin C, sodium hyaluronate, silk, aspen bark extract, and lemongrass essential oil, nothing else. So the, the thing with these, with this line, is that the formulations are really minimal and they utilize like the silk technology, that's why it's called Silk Therapeutics. That's the vitamin C serum. Um, I should have mentioned, in the eye serum is water, rosehip oil, silk, caffeine, vitamin C, sodium, anise, and aspen bark extract. And then they also sent the renewing peel which is a glycolic peel i actually set this aside to give to a friend because i don't really like using glycolic on my face actually i'm more of a lactic or salicylic person i don't glycolic i just don't think my skin honestly needs it it's a little bit more intense than lactic or salicylic and i just find that my skin likes those other acids better than glycolic so this looks like this. So I'm going to be giving this to a friend who I think would really benefit from it. Um, it's better, I think, glycolic I think is a little better for people that have acne or active breakouts because it's it just provides, um, I think, a deeper exfoliation. So yeah, they're based in Medford, Massachusetts. And the link is that one of the scientists who developed the silk technology to use in cosmetics is the husband of a woman I went to graduate school with. We barely overlapped. Um, she was finishing up, I think she was in her last year defending her dissertation, the year that I started, but we were working, I came into work under the advisor that she had been working with. So we crossed paths. We were part of a collaborative research group together for a year on contested illnesses. So we were studying things like the environmental causes behind uh, breast cancer and Gulf War illness and things like that. So we have sort of, uh, she's always sort of kept in touch and then I think when she saw that I had been making YouTube videos and was pretty engaged in the eco beauty community and they had launched Silk Therapeutics, her husband as one of the main scientists behind it, 
she and I reconnected via social media and so we're in touch pretty regularly and I'm really you know admire what they're trying to do and I just wanted to kind of get the word out there about their products uh, there's also a little card in the box that says our charitable mission your purchase today allows silk therapeutics to donate clean effective skincare to an oncology patient tomorrow so they do have a more activist mission as well which I really appreciate and then the last thing I hope will be exciting for you as well um, Mahalo sent me a little PR package. It did include a full size of the petal, so I'm going to see how I feel about this version from them and if it's different or the same from the one that I had been using all year and or different or the same to the one I just got from Detox Market. I'm just gonna have to let you guys know. I guess they have a new product. It's the Beauty Blooms Facial Steam, which is really gorgeous. Hibiscus, holy basil, marigold, jasmine, rose, cornflower, Linden, chamomile, chrysanthemum, lavender, geranium, and ylang ylang. Very nice for spring. Okay, and then they included a bean mask and a red my lips tint. Now these are two products that I really love and I already have. So I would like to give them away to one of you who would enjoy getting to try these beautiful products. I wear this lip product um, a lot in the spring and the summer. Actually, I'll get mine out to show you. So this is what the Red My Lips looks like. Really nice product. You get a ton of it in there. I think it's just a really, really nice kind of unique pink, orange, red. It's a has a really interesting balance of pigments in it. Um, so it's kind of unlike anything I have. Comes like this and you get a little lip brush with it as well. So pretty. And then the bean, I probably have at least half, if not three quarters of a jar of one of these in my refrigerator. I really like it. It's just part of my interchange of masks that I do a couple times a week. Um, it's kind of comparable to Josh Rosebrook Cacao Antioxidant, but it's faster acting. Kind of feels like chocolate pudding on the face. It's really beautiful. So I would just love for this to go to someone that's excited about trying these products. So I'll be hosting that giveaway for you on Instagram just because I find it easiest to do them there. So look for an Instagram post. If you're not following me, I'm just at l'amour et la musique. I covered everything and still managed to make this quite a long video, of course. I think moving forward, my shopping habits, I don't know how much they're going to change. Looking around at this stuff, I am pretty happy with all of it. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I guess, a work in progress with my consumption habits. And I don't want to stop doing Mercedes Shop Studios. I think they're really fun. I think I just want the energy that I put into them to be less about consuming products and more about thoughtful curation and intentionality behind what I purchase, what I show. I have April Beauty Heroes coming up, which is a beautiful, beautiful product, and I'm excited to talk about that. I have March Favorites, which I'm really excited to do as well, because March was a difficult month, but also such a pivotal month, and it was a very rich month, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it. It was just, there was a lot of m movement, I guess, and change, and so I have a lot to talk about, obviously. Um, when do I not? So give this video a thumbs up if you still enjoy seeing what I purchase. If you would like to see me talk about <laughs> all of this stuff, leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on shopping and consumption, what you've been buying, shutting up. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.